Hey guys, welcome back to my another Swift tutorial. Today we'll uh, we'll learn how to create a, a drawing app. So you can simply drag your finger across and make a drawing. So this is what you're gonna learn. All right, let's get started. Let's create a new project, single view application, drawing app. It's gonna be iPhone. Create. And the first thing that we want to do, let's go ahead and disable the size class because we only want to focus on iPhone for now. Alright, so now we need to add an image view to be able to draw it on view. And make it all big. And Alright, so now we need to point that image view in our view controller alright so select image view from here or here press control and drag it over here and name it whatever you want draw image view alright we're gonna use uh, two uh, built-in class I mean built-in function we have to overwrite those uh, we need to think about when we, we start drawing so that's a touch begin and we also need to take care when we drag our finger across the screen so that will be touch moved so those are the two main functions that we will be worrying about those are the main functions that we'll be using before that we wanna have a variable we wanna store the start location so let's have let's have that variable okay now let's go ahead and uh, overwrite the uh, touch begin so you just simply say touch begin and and here we're gonna get the f touch location first touch location so we're gonna say touch is equal to touches which is this variable and from there we'll get the touch location is the first touch as UI touch we have to wrap it to UI touch and from there we're gonna update our start variable and uh, which will store our start st starting location is equal to touch dot location in view and this view is gonna be self because it's gonna be touching on uh, this image uh, view so you can say self dot image view or whatever we name so it was draw image view so it, it's gonna tell us where we touch where the first touch begin on this image view so now let's um, overwrite another touch moved and let's get the moved location so we're gonna use the same thing touches that first as UI touch question mark and then we'll say well let's define it as and and it's going to be a touch dot location in view and this is self dot draw image view and now let's check and see the reason why we made this optional because we want to know if the uh, start has been defined if the start has been defined that's when we want to move our line otherwise we don't want to move so we won't really we can say let s is equal to start and we can unwrap it I guess or let's see or no we don't have to I guess start and then if this is defined it will say yeah there the start exists so user has started uh, drawing so then we can start drawing otherwise we don't want to draw in the middle of something so now inside here let's create another function called draw and pass the starting point it's going to be CG point and let's define the end the end CG point and simply call it from here draw
so the start is going to be simply start and it's going to be end alright so now oh let's see oh why does it give me an error let's see alright oh cause it wants me to unwrap because this is a uh, optional. Okay, cool. And now let's see. Let me say S. Sorry, I can just simply pass S because it's already unwrapped. So that should fix it. Okay, cool. So now this is the function that we our most of the code will be. So let's start with. UI graphics begin image context and this size is going to be the size of our image view so we can simply say context let's see so it's going to be self dot image view or draw image dot frame dot size so that tells the how big is this image view let me put this back I don't know why that was not very good indented alright no it was good okay so now let's define a context it's gonna be UI graphics get current context and then now we have to tell we have to check and see if our image view has an image and since this is an optional we have to unwrap it draw image, draw and rect and let's create a CG rect and let's see oh. and we'll use the last one that's x b0 y b0 and let the width be draw image view dot frame dot width and draw image dot frame dot height and then simply define the uh, the uh, the line width so let's to define to do that we have to use CG context set line width and the the context is going to be simply context and the width let's define it to six and now let's create the begin path it's going to be simply context and now let's create a move to point and this is this will create our beginning point so we already have the start variable which was passed by the ver uh, this function so we can just say s dot x and s dot y and let's see sorry not s sorry start because it's start so that this this defines our this defines our starting point so let, let's move on and let's create a let's use the function called add line because that adds the line and here we're going to use our end variable dot x and dot y alright let's see why does it okay now look at it it's gone so now that that creates our endpoints so let's let's close it let's close the path and if you look at the function by just pressing option it tells us what it does so let's look at it. This one paid select along the current path. So this one defines the start one and this one defines the end one. But until we do this one, it won't render it on the screen. So we have to use that one to show it on the screen. And then we have to, uh, that will create an image of that line. So we'll say UI graphics. Oh, graphics get image from the current image context and then we'll say UI graphics and image context which will which will end that image and add uh, like update the image and then we can just simply say draw image u dot image 
is equal to this new image. Before we, we go ahead and test it, we need to specify something. We have to update our start, so we can simply say self start equal to end. And now let's go ahead and test it. Come on. So now, if you drag your finger around and draw it, so it works pretty nice. So that's all for this tutorial, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe if you like the video.